The stock market is sinking and student debt is rocketing higher every single day. Housing prices are also far too expensive for the average person to afford. Households are drowning in debt and interest rates are rising and this problem will only be magnified. You came here for the truth. So let me unveil that for you today. We're going to have a quick video. I wanted to get into student debt as well as mortgages and interest rates and everything else along this topic. Let's begin by taking a look at this article out of Bloomberg. The student loan debt crisis is about to get worse. No, that's not the money GPS. That's right from Bloomberg. And they're talking about this issue today that we have individuals with massive quantities of student debt. And one thing that's different about student debt than other debt is you can't claim bankruptcy on it. So a lot of people are going to be heavily indebted for a long period of time. So they're getting into more of the details here. I wanted to show you some of the charts. In fact, we'll get right to it. Student debt just keeps growing and you can see what they've written here. Student loans are the fastest growing segment of U.S. household debt, seeing almost 157 percent growth since the Great Recession. So supposedly during this time frame where everything is just fine and uh, we're doing so wonderfully, you can see the black line and how it has skyrocketed higher, faster than mortgages and auto loans and credit card debt and everything else. Believe it or not, it's actually getting consistently worse. And with interest rates rising, this will have an impact on student loans. They're going to be put further and further into debt. And the chances of them ever being able to pay it off is diminishing as the years go on. Student loan delinquency rate remains close to post-recession high. And the problem we have here is that individuals, they can't pay up. Their jobs don't pay enough. They're not paying up. They have other things that they need to be spending their money on. And of course, this is going to be an issue as interest rates rise, as I mentioned before. So this black line is basically, that's the student loans, and you can see that it has moved up since the Great Recession. Since that time frame that we've had perpetual growth, nearly 10 years of constant growth, and it's not seemingly so good for those who are heavily in debt. Student loan interest rates rise again. The borrowing costs for federal undergraduate and graduate loans has increased for two consecutive years. So you'll see that what's happening there as the Federal Reserve has been increasing their interest rates, it's having a direct impact on student loans as well. Okay, now everybody's favorite, Janet Yellen, Janet Shake It Yellen, the former US Fed chair, told the Financial Times that she's worried about systemic risks. And that's exactly what I keep talking about all the time. Even Janet Yellen is starting to talk about it. And they're bringing up the same issues in this article that I always do. And there's some points that I'll quickly make throughout this in the second paragraph. Regulators can require banks to hold a certain amount of capital in proportion to the loans that they offer and the proportion has risen in advanced economy since the 2008 uh, economic crash. But Yellen is saying that the banks are packaging up that debt and selling it elsewhere in an echo of the infamous collateralized debt obligations that contributed to the last crash. Okay, that's exactly what I've been saying. Now Janet Yellen is confirming what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the derivatives. I'm talking about the same mistakes being made over again. It might be different issues, maybe not the exact same thing exactly as it happened, but as it is unfolding, we're witnessing, yes, they are in fact in, in uh, the collateralized debt obligations and other similar derivative type products, okay? So this here is basically what I wanted to show you just to kind of give you an idea of what's happening with the derivative products and essentially with all of these uh, problems that we're seeing today and how they're unfolding. I'm gonna end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, you're supporting the channel. And last but not least, if you want the financial education that you did not get in school, these two books have it all. Check them out, link is in the description below. Take care.